60 time for mile time and all that stuff we're gonna see it here in action so here we go uh, i'm going to select the card right now i just have one card as we already noticed but this is going to be uh and once we select that um uh, speedometer and touch it's created dynamically so um, the values you see here will depend uh, on on the specs that you already define in your card management here we have all the information we can see of course uh, the speedometer and the touch are real-time so we can know uh, this information at any way um, this is some environment information, uh, our time, altitude, uh, humidity, and this stuff. This is disabled because this is uh, automatically calculated once you change altitude, for example. Here we can rip up, rip down the engine. I'm gonna, I'm not going to use them right now, and you can shift up at, at any time you want to make your uh, testing more. Uh, interactive right now I'm gonna use the regular way I'm just going to press this button and run the test here we can see the touch is moving where the two guard and revving up this is going to be third um, this is fourth and this is speed here we have some values real-time information g-force engine torque well torque um, top speed actual time all values here uh this card is at five fifth grade sorry and it is approaching to its top speed right now right now it's the g-force acceleration it's dropping and dropping and dropping so it's gonna be really soon it reached its top speed and it has reached it already so once the test finished we can see these values uh, that has top uh, the top speed it was 128 miles uh, this doesn't really matter too much and this is the required time to reach that speed uh, this is some regular magazine figures that we can see 0 to 30 to 60 to 100 this is kilometers and that stuff here's the the quarter mile drag time uh, 90 20 and all that stuff uh this, this is the g-force at um the last g-force that was measured when the car reached it stopped it uh engine torque this, this was this was the um, torque engine was producing at top speed time as you can see it dropped a lot from its maximum its peak torque it was 130 and uh, this is the wheel torque if you don't know why this value is much much greater than this one well uh, you maybe need a little bit of research about how gearing works uh, i'm gonna get back here and i'm going to well, I have to log in again since I went using a free account. Uh, here we go. Um, this won't happen when you use regular account. This is just a special account I've, I have created to make this video. Uh, I will go to Sim again. And I'm gonna show you the real dyno test. Here we go. Uh, this is a test where um, you can actually uh, interact uh, with your real card performance. I mean, you select your card here, and a specific test for your card is going to be made. I mean, it, it is not a test for a Nissan NX2000 blah blah whatever it is going to be a test for your a specific card for example if you change something in your card uh, like uh, I don't know weight or whatever or your tires uh, 
gear radiators, whatever. Uh, this test is going to be specifically designed for your car. Uh, these are the steps we need to follow. Uh, they are various steps. They're, you just need to make two runs, uh, switch in one direction to make sure you uh, give um, the most exactly values possible. Uh, this is a warning. Uh, a copilot is a must. Uh, I mean, you need to make some timers run and stops at a given exactly given time. So it is it is a must to have a pilot that helps you with that timings. Uh, so you specific uh, the the weight of your co-pilot. Uh, well, I'm gonna make this as just to make a try. I'm going to I want to know my actual wheel torque. Uh, as you know, a uh, powered and torque are related. So if you plot torque and at a given RPM range, so you already know horsepower. So that's why. This says only torque. Uh, I'm gonna make a fictitious range here, and I'm gonna say it, it takes um, 3.234 and 3.123, and I'm going to run the test right now. It is oh, I did it very fast. Something and it it needs much more calculation and this word goes here, here, then, 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 and it finishes, um, it finishes uh, really fast in this one, and this gives you uh, your engine, well, I mean your wheel, uh, power and torque, uh, given the results, of course, here we have, um, oh. oh, I know, it's not too much to say here, uh, I'm gonna give back her. Sorry, I only have to sign again. This is just because, as I already mentioned, this is a test account I have created. Okay, here we go. Uh, we will have to go to same again. Uh, this is the drag race test. Um, as you already noticed and early in this video we, we haven't uh, uploaded any pictures of this car so the same will show uh, generic uh, pictures if you don't have one so you can actually see something at screen moving around track so I'm gonna select this car right now and and I don't, I don't have another car so I'm gonna type new and I'm going to select the same card bad with a uh, person that weighs much more than I, uh, maybe 220. So here we go. And I'm going to run the test as I told you before. This is just uh, generic images uh, from to a car that doesn't have one. So I'm going to run the test right now. So you can see the cars moving around. Here they go, here they go, they're going, going, going. Uh, this race is pretty close since they are the same cars just with drivers at different weight. As you can see, this is the final time, 1562 and 1575. As you can see, weight does matter. Well, I'm going to click back here and log in to this free account here we go sign in okay this is going to be uh, the last uh, simulation we have uh, this is a racing track test I'm gonna click in here here you can uh, actually design your tracks it is very easy really you can design um, current exist uh, track racing track or uh, just create uh, new uh, new um, new tracks that doesn't even exist it doesn't really matter it's just maths uh, used to make this uh, much more simpler uh, I have created a 
a tiny track you can select it here it's the top gear test track from uh, a known show uh, and it actually drops the track here as you can see this is the code need to drop this track this is not too much code it's used a few comments and this is the track um, race condition and driver experience can be selected here uh, we can change this track if you want uh, use adding more comments here and driving track and we will race in a different track but to this test I'm gonna use this one as it is I'm gonna select my card and I'm ready to run test here we go and this is the actual timing right now uh, uh, we don't have yet uh, an animation of the cards already moving so we have to work on that if there is some time this is the, the results timing uh, for this card under this track and this race condition and driver experience if you start to play in with these values or different tracks of course we'll, we'll have um, different results and this of course does matter um, altitude uh, could change a lot in the timings if you are very very high um, well I think this is all this is the first video ever created for NX GTR sim um, I hope you like it um, and see you there at the webpage